Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Let's take a look at what we have so far. So, so far, we have this uh, one little area here. Um, and let's see, let's try that again, and here we go. And basically, well, we have hello, hey, bye, and then it just ends. And then you can't really do anything. Well, let's take a look at uh, how we can kind of go and fix that. So let's hop into our dialog folder here. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create a blueprint class. And I'm going to type in dialog here. And you can see that there's two here. There's conditions and events. We want the events one. So let's go ahead and push create here. And we're going to call this resume character. All right. And there we go. OK, so we now have resume character. OK, let's open that up here. And basically, let's let, before we even put anything in here, let, let me show you where it's going to go here. So as you can see, we have these events and conditions here. Right, you can put these pretty much anywhere, but you can put them, for example, um, uh, here, and I can just push the plus button, and we could push resume character. Conditions are something else. That's like, for example, if you know, let's say there's a guard, and you need to have collected a key to give the key to the guard to open the door. Right, that's kind of a condition here. Event is something that happens. So. For example, you can just use the resume character here. And right now, it won't really do anything because we haven't told it to do anything. But you're going to see what it's going to do. So um, from that here, um, you, you can basically um, add in uh, a certain, you, you can basically take in um, the this part here, the disable input and um, and player controller. And we can copy and we can paste that here. Okay. And we're going to need a few more things. And those few more things are, uh, are just basically uh, what we need to make this work. So if we type in event received, event triggered, and we're going to um, cast to third person character. Then we're just going to drag this over here, get player character, and there we go. So let's compile, save that, and let's give it a shot here. So we go here, right? You can see that the mouse cursor is enabled. We push hey, and then, wow, not quite. So what happened? Oh, that's why, because we have to enable input, OK? So let's go ahead and let's enable input all right and set the opposite here there we go so let's do that again hey and there we go we're back to normal and as soon as we go back in there you can see that it does work right every time we hit that it does work okay so there you go. That's an easy way of doing this. Now, another thing you can do is you don't have to necessarily end here. Although, personally, I like to end the conversation with the user here. But you can, um, and this is the way it's set up here, is you can add in a couple of NPC answers. And you can trash both of these conditions here. And all we're going to do uh, with that here is we're going to add in uh, just the resume character on this NPC answer okay and this one gets a little bit different um, you know we can say okay um, it's like hello hey it's like you know what 
what's up and then or maybe make that a question mark here and then here we can say bye it's like later All right pretty simple stuff let's save it and then kind of let's I kind of want to just want to show what's up here so we go hey and it says what's up here and then you can move it around here right but you notice that the mouse is still there right and then once you hit it again um, you know it, it, it pops up so there's a few more things that need to be do uh, need need to do here but you can see here that you know I can't move around other than the mouse here and that's why I have to push end conversation click again and then the mouse is there right so that's the, I mean obviously when you have such a simple plugin there are other things you have to account for but that's something you can do like I said I don't like doing this personally but there will be some situations where you have to do that so I always like to end everything on here and um, and simply put, if I need to do anything else, I can go write it out there. But personally, this is the way that I like to end conversations. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.